we go with the big one. 170 pounds, Chance Marsteller from Kennerdale. Yellow headgear, he's taking on Cody Weirchuk from uh, excuse me, Cannon McMillan. This is his home gym, this is 2012 Powerade Finals, our main event. And we got a treat on our hands. A lot of people have been looking forward to this for quite some time. Heavy myself included. There by oh. Marsteller, a little duck attempt by Weirchuk. A lot of people have Marsteller even maybe approaching a major here, wouldn't you say, Willie? In terms of well, I mean, that's what a lot of people are talking. Chance is phenomenal, but Wirechuck, he's one of the best in the country, one of the best in Pennsylvania state history. So we'll see what we get here. Wirechuck, like Mark said, longer, lankier. Uh, Chance, more stout, more thick. And there's a hush over this gym. Everyone is just like glued. <laughs> What's gonna to this happen? Match. What's gonna happen? Mars Steller works a two on one. Both hands look like above the elbow. Oh. Looking for a pull down. We're Chuck. Privy to if squares up. Oh, but a second attempt. Mars Steller in on the leg. Brings it up in the air. Single leg. And he turns him towards the center of the mat. Now a little bit more back towards the edge. We're Chuck defending. Marsteller going to try to drag him back in here. Reaches for the far leg. Wirchok sprawls it a little bit too flexible. And they're going to go out of bounds. Marsteller steps out. We'll come back to the center. 25 seconds to go. I think Wirchok's got to make a shot of his own. He can't just let Marsteller take it to him for this whole first period. Marsteller the favorite. Wirchok got to show... Show him that he can, he's got his own shot. Show him alpha out. male. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to give too much credit to Marsteller. Sure. Although that's hard to do. <laughs> but you know what? At the first period, six seconds from coming to a close, and it's going to be zero zero. And this is the first time I've ever seen zero zero for Keith Marsteller going into the second. Here we go. Marsteller wins the choice. He's going to go down. Him out. And like you said, Martin, here's that hush again. <laughs> drop a knee, a pin, pin drop in here. Quickly, Marsteller up to his feet and away. Six seconds in, and he comes right up with the hands. Now, Wachuk's a winner, and he's at home. So you imagine I mean, just the extra extra fight that he's going to have, the extra intensity he has. He's not going to want to give up anything at home. Even as, even as the underdog, which is probably a rare, rare position he's ever been in. Then at 30 to go, second period, 1-0. Marsteller with the lead. Oh, Whoa. weird shot comes with a shot from outside, almost. Looked like he was about to get a launch, but he caught his balance. Was able to make his way back up to his feet, and we're 115 left in the second. He's doing a nice job of blocking off, like I said, Martin. Had any serious attempts or, or really hasn't been able to get past the head and hands defense of Chance Marcel. Yeah, I think w Wire Chucks can't make this match just of how ho how much he can hold off Marcel. He's got to at some point get on the leg of Marcel and make his own Marsteller attack. Marcel in on his attack, head on the inside, coming out the back door. Weird Chuck catches an ankle, now transitions to waist. Well, there's no stalemate. This we hear the Cannon Mac fans wanting a stalemate. Now, possibly, if nothing's happening. No, that's good call by the ref. And he hangs. Getting the on. home Oh, whoa. They do step out of bounds a second time. Marsteller's been close to scoring. And, you know, one thing I wonder is Marsteller, this is his first competition of the year. Could he get tired? You know? I'm sure he's been training hard. There's no doubt about it. But competing under the lights and the pressure, it's a little bit different. And really looking at them, Chance Marsteller looks, his face is a little bit more red. Cody Weirschock looks, his face and his the way he's carrying himself looks pretty poised and calm. Yeah. I, I got to feel that like Cody Weirschock has got to start to feel comfortable here. He's gone two periods, essentially scoreless uh, in terms of offensive points. Marcelo getting a one-point escape. <laughs> So Cody's, Cody's down one to zero. As he gets set with Marsteller to cover. Here go, Jake. 
Kachuk up to his feet, and he gets himself away. We got almost two minutes to decide this match. And there's Here a little bit of uh, some hand fighting from Weirchuk. We'll see if oh. we can see some offense in him. Yeah. Yeah. Three shot. Ducked yeah. under oh. attack, Weirchuk. And now there's the offense. We're going to see him bring maybe a little bit more. Marsteller follows the elbow. Oh. And when Marsteller starts moving, and that's good things what can I happen. Like see. Cody Weirchuk now starting to open it up and really going after it. I didn't see that in the first two periods. So we are 1 1 third period, minute 30 to go in our main event of tonight. Weirchuk and Marsteller. Marsteller oh. firing off more shots. Using heavy hands, getting to angles, but unable to get to a leg and score. He got to the leg twice. Both times they went out of bounds. And a third time, Marsteller's in on the leg now. Single leg has it up in the air. We're Chuck hopping on one foot. Marsteller brings it up. Loses his body. Cody Weirchuk tries to counter. Marsteller hanging down to the leg. He's basically back to where he was. Stepping over from the hips here. Great action. Marcel is still in control of the leg. Has it up on his shoulder. In position to score. Weirchuk showing incredible balance right now. And Weirchuk going up for a takedown. Marcel defending right in front of us. Marcel comes up to the hip. Excuse me. Weirchuk comes up to the hip. Marsteller defending, he has a wizard, 15 like seconds to go, Come nothing on. going here, oh. and Chance Marsteller makes his way oh. back to his team, that is a this is oh, unbelievable oh, action unbelievable. here, 9 seconds to go, Weirchuk and Marsteller, you see Marsteller, the hesitation yeah. right there, puts his hands on his knees a little bit, I'm not joking, like he might be a little bit tired. Or maybe wow. the emotions are getting to him. You see him wow. breathing wow. here. And we're going yeah. into overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Your main event could not be any more exciting. It does not disappoint. We got Weird Chuck. We got Marcella. We got two of the best in the country. And we got a champ for Cody in the background here at his home gym of Cannon McMillan. Wow. You are witnessing high school wrestling history here. And a and shot! Chuck in on a shot! He's taking Marsteller to the end! Marsteller doing the splits! Weird Chuck trying to come around and put Marsteller on his hip. Unbelievable position right here in front of us. 30 seconds to wow. go. Oh my goodness. Woo! Woo! Oh my oh, yeah. goodness. Weird Chuck, look at that. Weird Chuck's gonna take injury time. Oh. Man. Chuck taking injury. That's not good for Rear Chuck. And I feel Marsteller, like he's got the advantage. I feel like he can use this breather. I, 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 I felt like Weirchuk had the uh, momentum advantage in the last couple of scrambles. Yes. And for him to call injury time, ah, man, uh, I wonder if he's going to lose it here as both wrestlers in their injury time sit back and, you know, to their backs to each other, but turn and try and look at each other and see what the other one's doing. Weirchuk's ready. But you're right, Mark. I think Marcel, I mean, his first match back is. Is it little windy? Hey! Look at him. All right, we got 32 seconds on the clock. First overtime period. And we've had plenty of action and exchanges here. All kinds of excitement tonight in the Powerade Finals. Oh. Well, and okay. one of the most exciting matches I've seen in a long time. And Mark, it's one to one. And it's one to one. Oh! Weird Chuck, second oh, attempt. He's in trouble, he's in trouble. A dragon he's in trouble. trap here by Mark. Got him out. He's going to out. Woo! to the center, seven seconds to go. I'm getting a little bit lightheaded. Let's go, Chuck! These guys are just going to go into the next round. Wow, so we're, and really, they both escaped in like two seconds. Yeah. Wow. But they're also going to both work a lot harder to get that takedown or to, to get that ride here because they know how important it is and it's not two minutes, it's only 30 seconds. Chance Marcella gets choice. He chooses bottom. 
Marshall didn't want any part of weird cock, weird chalk on top, and vice versa. Block him out! Block him out! Marsh Teller makes his way to his feet, faces and turns. Oh. Almost got too aggressive looking for two and almost missed out on the one, but he does get the escape. We are 10 seconds into this period. And so it's going to be up to him to fend off any attacks from Weird Chalk from here on the next 10 seconds and to try to ride him for the next 30 and win this match. Okay. I think Mars Teller scored first. Excuse me. Mars Teller scored first, which means he would have choice in the next one, which would be the ultimate ride out for the win. Weird Chalk up to his feet. No stallings for either guy, so. Oh. And a great Mars Teller and Weird Chalk out. He's going for his next one. Weird. Weirchalk's got to make something happen here. Yeah, I feel 18 like. seconds to go. You got him, Martin. Weirchalk probably needs to get some offense. Heavy hands by Marsteller. 10 seconds to go. Weirchalk coming forward. Five. And it looks like we're going to go to the very last one. <laughs> so we're going to as many overtimes as we can in our final bout of the evening. Our anticipated main event. I wonder. I wonder Coming what we're, we're, we're talking goes to here. What do you do? You go tight waist. You go ankle. You go. You I, I go. I try to. I try to kill him with a thousand cuts. That means you go to the leg real quick and you run him out of bounds. Marsteller up to his feet. Immediately, oh. Marsteller faces, and that's gonna be a chance. Marsteller gonna win this one. But look at the crowd on their feet, ladies and gentlemen. The most exciting high school match of the season. Champs Marsteller, 2-1. to one. Excuse me, 3-2, Victor. That was a battle, Mark. And Over that was Cody one for the ages. In the ultimate rideout, ladies and gentlemen, that was something else.